Hi and welcome back to Basic Bananas. Hey there guys, coming at you from paradise this time. Yeah, from the Maldives. Because we can. <laughs> because we can. <laughs> and because you're used to us coming to you from all over the place. So we thought, you know what, today's our last day here on the boat, living on the boat for 10 days and surfing a lot of amazing waves. And today actually was the biggest day in terms of the swell. And so I had this thought suddenly, I was sitting out in the surf with Christo and, and a few of our friends. And when the set came, my heart went a little bit faster. Sometimes I had like almost like butterflies, but the different kind of butterflies. And then I was thinking, well, you know, if Christo calls me into a wave, I can, I'm pretty safe, I can go and I would catch them but with a little bit of butterflies. Trust that guy. I think I can, because you <laughs> definitely understand the ocean way more than I do. And so it made me think about business too, how you know sometimes in business you have to push yourself a little bit. You have to sometimes feel those butterflies a bit. And especially when you are an entrepreneur, you have a lot of those moments where you, you maybe feel a little bit of fear, but then you have to push yourself if it's if it makes sense, if it's not silly. And so what we saw we do, we share a little bit of you know ways of how you can do that. Let's share three ways, three tips, you start them off. So one of the ways to do it is definitely to run some campaigns, some marketing campaigns that might be a little bit out of your comfort zone. So rather than doing what everyone else is doing, maybe find some different campaigns that you can run that are maybe scaring you a little bit. One of our clients, Kylie, she ran this amazing direct mail campaign where she sent out this massive freckle with the little dots. What are they called? Chocolate called? freckle with hundreds, hundreds and thousands on hundreds it. Hundreds and thousands of little They sent comments. it in the post. Exactly. As to her target market. And she had the letter went with the freckle and it said something like, surely we have hundreds and thousands of reasons to be working with you. So that campaign was a little bit out of the box and maybe a little bit scary for her to do because it was a new thing and a little bit out there, but it worked extremely well because it was so different. So do stuff that makes you get noticed and make, maybe you get a bit scared. The second thing also is, you know, sometimes you have to say, and that's a scary thing too, sometimes you have to say no to people. Sometimes you have people that want to work with you or have been working with you, but you know that, you know what, I probably shouldn't work with this person. Sometimes you have to say no to that person. It takes a little bit of guts. Sometimes you also have to say yes to things. So say no more often or say yes more often, depending on what you need to do. Yeah, and I'd say also just be okay with, with getting outside your comfort zone, just understanding that there's always going to be times where you have little crisis moments because that's business, but it doesn't matter what level the business is at, like it might be getting the first employee and then there's a the moment of kind of like stepping out of your comfort zone for a moment where it's like, uh oh, now I have to pay someone and that's scary and then suddenly you might need to get a bigger premises and then it's getting out of your comfort zone again, it's because you're always growing out beyond your comfort zone. So just being okay and understanding that there's always going to be these freak out moments and these uh, uh, uh oh moments where you're like uh oh this is scary so if your business is growing that is there's always going to be getting outside your comfort zone you're always going to be reaching new heights and kind of expanding beyond your comfort zone it might be suddenly you've got to get 10 extra staff or suddenly you've got to get you know bigger even twice the size of the office or whatever it is there'll always always be those moments and just being okay with uh, understanding that you're going to be getting outside your comfort zone that's part of the journey Exactly. So what is one thing that you maybe have been putting off for a while because it makes you a little bit scared, you have a little bit of butterflies thinking about it, what is one thing that you could do right now or maybe today that makes you feel a little bit scared? Go and do it and then tell us about it below and tell us how you feel after because I'm sure you feel amazing after. So I'd love to hear from you below the video. Thank you so much. Let's go catch some more. Surfing time. <laughs> I'm going to have butterflies in my stomach again. Let's do it. Let's do it. the video this is our hey videographer <laughs> this is my best friend from switzerland she is a little bit crazy i am see you later you know <laughs> i'm gonna have butterflies <laughs> you are a butterfly, um, butterfly. <laughs>